Hello investors, my name is Dehan. Welcome back to number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at three potential altcoins to buy here. As we're seeing the market wobbling back and forth. So as we can see right here in the past 24 hours, the market is actually up about 3.69%, making a nice move here on the upside. Bitcoin currently up almost 1%. Ethereum almost 2.8% or so. And now the volume is actually higher than usual at 31.4 billion on Bitcoin, 15.1 billion on Ethereum. And we're seeing Bitcoin trading at around this 39,000 area and 2,600 area for Ethereum. And we did see a pop here going into um, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And then, you know, came back right back down. So as we can see, altcoins making a similar move here, all either trading flat or up or down about a percent or two. And then we obviously have some outliers that are up, you know, three or 4% or so, which is always, in, you know, uh, something that we see in the market. So right now the big news is going to be the fed so the fed is speaking as you're watching this video today on wednesday so j pal is going to be you know talking to us and everybody is expecting uh the interest rates rise about a quarter so 0.25 percent that is what everybody is expecting obviously if he says no interest rates that could be a huge thing for stock markets and different things like that if he says 0.5 percent and rug pulls the market that could be very negative and markets might you know spiral downwards because of fear obviously if we take a look here at futures in the stock market they're all literally trading flat right now everybody's waiting to see what's going to happen tomorrow uh once j pal starts to speak so obviously that's going to be some huge catalyst that we're going to be watching so if we take a look, quick look here at the crypto bubbles we're seeing some green but we're also seeing a lot of red so uh just like in the previous video when we talked about it we have some winners here waves up over 36.5 percent we have OGN Origin Protocol up about 70.2%. We have another winner right here, the Graph, which is up about 17.9%. Polka Starter, it's up about 30.7%. Alpine F1 Team Fan Token is up over 142%. So they're the big winner. We see a lot of these like soccer clubs and different type of sports clubs that are up. And then we have Thor Chain, which is up about 61.2% here in the past week. So in the past week, we are seeing some upside in the market and some things are trading sideways and some are even on the downtrend. You just have to go out there, figure out what's going on and, you know, the patterns. You have to follow those patterns, up and down patterns, type of situations. One day might be red, one day might be green and, it, you know, pattern continues to cycle. So, guys, before we get into this content, if you enjoy this type of content, smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 50 plus likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I make a new video. And as always, guys, let's get into it. So, first of all, the first altcoin is going to be Cardano ADA. So, one of the coins that has been hammered in recent times is Cardano. Cardano currently trading at 80 cents. Now, we did see it pop here up to about 83 cents before pulling right back down. In the past week, we're down about 5%. Past month, we're down 27%. But we are trading sideways here, building up a nice support level, which is a beautiful thing to see here. For the past almost one month, we've been building the support. Hopefully, we can bounce off of the support and skyrocket on higher and higher. On the one-year chart, Cardano is actually down 51%, obviously. But on the one, you know, all-time chart, when we look at it, we see that a lot of this hype started to happen in a, you know, end of 2020, beginning of 2021, when this started to go from about 10 cents and hit highs of over three dollars and 10 cents, which is over a 3,000% gain right there. Uh, it's just insane what it did in September, obviously. But it did lose over 65% of those gains here just in the past six months or so as we've been on a down, downward ever since those all-time high areas. But if we actually look here in July, you know, summertime, we were trading at around 121. And if we actually compare it to where we are right now, we're only down about, you know, 35 or 40 cents or so from that level. We did see this huge spike and why it just seems like it was so high. But in reality, we're not down that much compared to where we were last July, only about 20 or 30 cents. Market cap currently at two point or twenty six point eight billion. We were trading at close to a hundred billion at one point when uh, Cardano was at all time highs and people were you know praising the coin. Volume here at one billion, up nineteen percent higher than usual in volume. A hundred and five day typical hold time. A lot of people are holding these coins, guys. A lot of these people are holding the altcoins, holding you know Bitcoin, Ethereum, everything popularity it is still ranked the number five coin right behind you know if we have ethereum obviously bitcoin binance coin then we have solano right there as well currently 72 percent buy activity 28 percent sell activity on cardano cardano is a blockchain platform built on a proof of stake consensus protocol that validates transactions without high energy costs now development on cardano uses the health scale programming language which is described as enabling cardano to pursue evidence-based development for unparalleled security and stability so obviously 
Cardano, one of those bigger coins, uh, you know, top five big dog right there. We have so much upside potential, over 200 plus percent upside potential just to get back to those levels that we were trading at in November and September time period. So uh cardano for the long term i am very very bullish and i think that any price here under one dollar is a steal in my opinion and if we continue to see a downtrend you know this could be a very very nice buy to dip opportunity for future holders that are you know potentially trying to get in at a lower price so cardano definitely a nice coin in my opinion and one to be holding then we have number two crypto.com also known as crow this one had a lot of hype uh, happen, you know, obviously um, end of that last year. And now we're seeing it, you know, get hammered once again, the same situation as everything else. Currently, it's up about 2% here, trading at 38 cents. Past week, we're down 5%. Past month, we're down 21% with lows down here at 35 cents. In the past year, we're actually still up 98%. So very beautiful. We were trading at around 8 cents here in June. And then even here in uh, October, we were trading around 19, even 20 cents. From that 20 cents, we obviously saw all the hype around this coin because of the different things that they were doing, like the naming, uh, you know, naming rights to the stadium and different things like that. This coin went up to about 99 cents, about $1 per coin. And then from that level, we dropped down to lows of about 30. And then we've been trading around that level here for the past, let's just say, one to two months we've been trading in this 30 cents to 50 cents area back and forth back and forth so nice little upside actually about uh let's just say about a 66 percent upside from when it hits 30 cents and then it kind of drops off after it hits about 50 cents and we've been going back and forth so very nice to see it in this range we're going to be waiting to see if it can break through that 50 cents you know resistance at one point and then continue to push on higher all the way to the, into the 60s and so on and so on so currently, 9.7 billion market cap. We were at around a 30 billion market cap at all-time highs. We see 83.8 million here in volume, 43% higher than usual, 65-day typical hold time. Currently, we have 60% buy activity, 40% sell activity, and it's ranked the number 15 coin. Now, Crypto.com Chain is an Ethereum token that powers Crypto.com Pay, a service that aims to allow users to pay for goods and services with cryptocurrencies while receiving cash back rewards. Now, everybody obviously likes to see cash back rewards because it's kind of like a reward for spending your money. And, you know, people get tricked in their mind and believe that that is a positive thing. Obviously, it is not because you're spending money. But if you're spending money, you might as well get some cash back rewards. Am I right or am I right, guys? So crypto.com looking very nice, looking very uh, juicy at these levels. I mean, there's over 100% upside on this coin, potentially even 150% just to get back up to those levels that we were trading at at one point and uh you know right around thanksgiving time period so crypto.com long term definitely bullish on this one and i'm going to be watching it very very carefully to see if we can break out of this uh you know channel that we've been trading in and let's see what lies ahead obviously so that's going to be our second altcoin and then last but not least number three is going to be algorand algo so algo is up about two and a half percent here trading at 70 cents currently in the past week we're down seven percent past month we're down 26 percent Past year, we're down 41%. So this one continues to go lower and lower here, breaking through these levels, obviously. We're kind of at a um, support level that we hit here in June last year. Uh, if we break below this you know high 60 area we could go lower we could go under you know 60 cents or so so it's gonna be very very uh you know uh, a big deal here to see what's gonna happen in the next few weeks if we break under that 65 cents area this one is kind of gonna be like a free fall and it could continue to go lower and lower very very quickly so that is definitely uh you know a support level that we're watching very very closely if it goes under that we could easily see it go to the about you know low 60s possibly even 50 cents area uh in the short term but obviously we're hoping for it to bounce off and come back up to the you know close to about a dollar and 20 a dollar and 30 even potentially 150 before hitting the next uh you know resistance level which gives us about 100 percent upside right there market cap 4.7 billion volume is up 53 percent higher at 207 million Typical hold time, 69 days. It is ranked number, number 21 coin, 68% buy activity, 32% sell activity. Algorand is a cryptocurrency and blockchain protocol that aims to be simultaneously scalable, secure, and decentralized. It uses a consensus algorithm called pure proof of stake. So very interesting to see Algorand here uh, getting hammered, obviously, from those high levels that we see here, especially here in November, right around, right before Thanksgiving, actually, is when uh, this one happened here. If we actually take a look, it had a huge pop at about 282, which gives this one over a 300% upside, guys, just to get back to those all-time high levels, which is great, obviously. That would bring us to about a 20 billion market cap, and, you know, your investment could definitely triple right there. So Algorand is definitely another coin we're going to be watching very, very closely, guys. Now, let's take a quick look at the rest of the market. So 
Dogecoin is still trading here around this 11 cents area. I feel like it's always trading around this area whenever we look. Bitcoin trading at 39,000 here. In the past week, we're down about 5.8% actually. We've been trading in this range though. So it's very actually nice to see it trading here, uh, you know, around this 37 to 43,000 area, back and forth, back and forth. We've been seeing it from the, lo the lows we saw in January. At least we're staying, you know, stabilized right here, trading sideways for about two months now. We're going to be waiting for it to break through, you know, break through, break through the resistance level at 45,000, continue to push up higher and higher past that 40, you know, 8,000 to 50,000 area. And then, you know, uh, the sky's the limit. That's the goal, obviously. So market cap, 743.9 billion, 35% of crypto market space. Volume is up 30%. We have 76% buy activity, 24% sell activity currently on Bitcoin. I'm very bullish here. And I believe that, you know, in the next few months, we could see, you know, Bitcoin start to, you know, trend on higher and higher. Pretty much the same pattern here with Ethereum as Ethereum, I believe, will become even more bullish in the future. It is up 2.5% here in the past 24 hours. Past week, we're down 3%. Past month, we're down 16%. But on the one-year chart, this one is still up 45%. So once again, those lows in January. And then we try to break here past the 3,200 area. Couldn't break through the resistance at 3,300. If we would have broke through that, the next level would have been 3,600 before hitting the next resistance level close to 4,000. So it's going to be very interesting to see this one pass through this 3,300 area in the future once again. Once we pass that, the sky is the limit. 317.2 billion market cap, 15% of crypto market space. Volume is up almost 10% here. 70% buy activity, 30% sell activity, guys. Ethereum looking very nice here. Uh, we could be at a bottom. Now, I don't want to say that this is the bottom, but I potentially uh, you know, believe, and my prediction is that this could be the bottom for crypto, and we might see an uptrend here in the, you know, upcoming weeks so definitely want to keep an eye out on guys so guys if you enjoyed this type of content let me know in the comments below subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notifications to get notified every time we can do a video smash that like button guys let's aim for 50 plus likes in this video and as always i am not a financial advisor so none of this is financial advice before investing speak to your financial advisor do your own due diligence and make sure you understand what you're getting into i hope you guys have a great weekend i'll see you in the next one goodbye